It is the Blitz 1250 ESPN San Antonio 94.5 FM. He's former Cowboy Pro Bowl linebacker Dat Win. I'm Jason Minix. Now joined by Jeremy Mincy. Man, how you doing? I am gracious, man. How are you doing? We we are we are good, man. Glad you're glad you're here. Glad you're taking some time. Uh, first pad of practice today. I was reading earlier. They're going to kind of ease you in. But how excited <laughs> are you to get those pads on and get out there and do some hitting? I'm very excited, man. It's time to get this water weight off. Most importantly, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, but it's good to be out there with my teammates and uh i'll just go out there and start setting examples so guys can uh follow and, and let's get this thing on the road how hard was it for you to be in a way i know there, there's a holdout people saw the other story people didn't really know the whole story until you showed up everybody said oh he had a great year last year and and, and he wants a holdout and he wants more money whatever it was but how hard was it for being an athlete for being a player a professional athlete on a great team at the dallas cowboys and not being here it, it's tough it's always tough uh, in situations like that because you got your teammates out here working hard as they can and sweating and hitting and mm-hmm. tired and you sitting at the house sipping you know lemonade and <laughs> watching <TV>. lemonade <laughs> <laughs> and watching what's going on so it was definitely frustrating but it's but I'm here now, so um, it's great to be back, and it's great to be back in the football atmosphere. I, I, I got to admit, I, I mean, when I heard you didn't get on that plane, I was like, really? <laughs> really? Now, did when, you know when that I, your clause when you signed the contract? Um, Did I know what? That clause that was in there for that 70%. Oh, I didn't know until probably about the eighth game of the season, and, um, and I fought hard to... You know, to get there. <laughs> yeah, well, well and, and, get. and that's the thing is, because I know you took to Twitter for uh, after going after a couple people that you know you don't know the whole situation, <laughs> right? And, and once I heard the story, I'm like, man, yeah, you know, you you got what you thought was rightfully yours to begin mm-hmm. with. I mean, you know, you you had a good reason, and nobody knows that when you're. Hey, Jeremy Mincy didn't get on the plane. He's the lone holdout. <laughs> and people are like, what? Really? I, right, I mean, right. but but that had to. I mean, when you found out that you were that close. To that kind of bonus, I, I mean, can you tell us what that what that felt like when you realized you were that close? Uh, for one, I was I was dependent on it. You know, I I had planned on buying my mom a house this year. Mm. You know, and and those and I fought hard for it. And I uh, I felt like I deserved it, and I didn't get it quite, but uh, we got it worked out. We you got, got it now. <laughs> yeah, we got it worked. We got it worked out, and uh, now I can look forward to. Get my mom a nice house. How exciting are you with now? You have to, a couple of additions on the defensive line this year with uh, Greg Hardy, with Randy Gregory. Um, now you guys have seem like you guys want to have more pieces uh, to get to the quarterback. I mean, less reps. I mean, I'm th- I am 31, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so the more players, the merrier. So um, they just got to have that intensity and that energy that we had last year and. Uh, We'll get that momentum working uh, here, you know, throughout training camp, and uh, get this get the ball rolling. You know, uh, we got we got a group of unique guys. It's a, it's a lot of different styles of players. You know, you got you know you got a twin in Greg Hardy, like he's a power guy and you know athletic guy. Then you got uh, then you got Gregory, which is a which is just a speed guy, very athletic, and then it's just a great combination of players, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm proud to be here, and I'm prou- uh, proud to be beside these guys. Jeremy Mincy with us here on ESPN San Antonio. Last year coming into the season, nobody expected much out of the Dallas Cowboys. I think USA Today last year predicted a 3-13 and season, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and a lot of it was on that defense, which played far better than anybody thought was going to happen. Even during the season, it was like, all right, well, when are they going to you, you know what I mean? Right. Right. So this year, after a 12 and 4 season, I know Jason Garrett keeps saying last year was last year, but don't you have to build on that to a degree? Yeah, you have to build on it, but that that that's the tricky part. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, everybody has you know expectations and and excitement because of this and that, but you know, in a player's mind, you know, you're only as good as your last play. So we got to focus on building, you know, building up from the ground up again, and um. What made us good last year was the hunger, mm-hmm. and when everybody's patting you on your back, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's a little, it's easy to get complacent. Yes. And so, you know, that's my job, you know, as, as being an older guy, understanding that last year was last year, and this year is this year, and we got to focus on this year. And for you, though, as of now, become, you're 31 years old, what you just said, is that you becoming a leader. 
in the lead of defense. We, we know that I think that's the position that somebody has to take over to be the guy. So are you embracing right. that leadership role, being the guy, telling them, hey, we've got to work each and every day. We're only as good as our last play, and we control what we control is in front of us? I, I, think, I think I embraced it as an embryo, so... <laughs> yeah. I, it's, it's, it's just a part of who I am, man. It's a part of my DNA, uh, my makeup, and I'm just glad that the Cowboys organization give me an oppo uh, opportunity to exploit mm -hmm. my abilities as a player and as a person. And, and obviously, 12 and 4 last year. Even though last year was last year, this year there's more. So you're wearing the Cowboys Run the East shirt now, and <laughs> you know, I'm not a big fan of division championship T-shirts. So you, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. I mean, we're from San Antonio Spurs. <laughs> I, it's championship I, or nothing. You know? I, I completely understand. This is this is just a nice T-shirt. It's, it's, it's one free, to wear, right? where, to, where to practice. It's free man, that's what I tell you. It's free. It's is free. That? That's all. That's all it is. You know. <laughs> but you but you want that other T-shirt that right. you get in February. I've had a Super Bowl T-shirt before. I want another one, but mm -hmm. I want to I want I want it to be a winner. Not runner up this time. And you were there talking about that Super Bowl appearance. You were there with Denver, mm -hmm. with Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos, and and you would you had a chance to see what it's like on a team that was as good as the Denver a couple of years ago. How good is this team compared to that oh, team man. at Denver? Oh, we got we got so much more ability, so much more, mm. so much more. It's just so much more. And um, but the key is what we what we got to realize is you know you can have all the talent in the world. But if you lack the the work ethic and the heart and the, and the passion to win, you have no chance. So you know that plays a factor, and that's where that starts in training camp by guys getting, you know, uh, getting used to each other and gelling and putting it together. So every day you go against a great offensive line. I guess that's one of the best offensive line in the National Football League. Mm -hmm. Every day, how much does that help your game when you play on Sundays? It, it helps you a lot. <laughs> it helps you a lot when you. You're playing against a guy like Tyron every day, and then, you know, you line up against your opponent. It's kind of a downgrade, you know, <laughs> depending, on who, you, but how depending was, on who you're playing. Let me ask you a question, this, and you, you're 31 years old. You've been a veteran in this league, and here comes a guy named Zach Martin. Comes in as a rookie, and you get to see Love him all. You, you go against him quite a bit. How good can this guy really be? He he can be as good as he want to be. Like, it's, it's all up to him, like. God bless him with everything else. And uh, he has to he has to put it in his mind that, you know, I could be one of the greatest ever at guard and uh he has he has a chance to do so. Jeremy Mincy here on ESPN San Antonio. You're uh what about two hours away from your first padded practice. Uh -huh. You you ready to get out there and get after it, right? <laughs> I'm ready. Now we know you spend a lot of time, obviously, preparing for football, but I guess when you're not doing football, you've been in the studio. We, we, we're about to have the world <laughs> premiere of your cowboy anthem. Oh, yes. Let's get it running. All right. Now, tell me a little bit about it. Uh, well, it was an idea I had. Uh, I was like, you know, everybody makes anthems for the cowboys. Uh -huh. You mm -hmm. click on mm -hmm. cowboy anthem. Everybody has a song, but I was like, I want to be the first player who actually makes an wow. official anthem for an organization. And it, and it's really hot. Like, uh, it was a, uh, a British guy that I met through a mutual friend named uh, DJ London. Very talented artist. I add, I threw him in. He actually sent me his verse after my producer made the beat. And I was like, I'm keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, so I, I just wrote, I went ahead and wrote, uh, wrote, wrote my verse. And, uh, and we put it together and made a great song. And this is the world premiere. World premiere. This world premiere right now. Johnny Campion, go ahead. I'm always going up your head.
The Cowboy wow. Anthem. Wow. Jeremy Minty. Wow. I'm surprised you, were, you didn't start singing, man. How, how hard was God. that for you to – you're uh, hearing that, and, and I keep I, I keep seeing your, your face said you, you yes. were ready to just go. Oh, man. It, it, I love it, man. Dude, I was passionate, and I felt like I was in the game when we was writing the song. So it came out exactly how, how I would feel in the game. How long did it take you to write that song? Uh, well, it didn't take me long to write my verse, putting the yeah. music together, and the idea was the, was the hard part, you know, uh, they skipped the intro actually where uh, it, it sounds like an old western you could you kind of hear tumbleweed uh-huh you know just there it is. Yeah. Yeah. there you go that's the part of the song you know that really pulls you in and you mm-hmm. talk about actually you, you got it on in the back absolutely man because our producer johnny Campion is the best producer <laughs> <laughs> i think i think it's epic so are you going to use it before pregame? Or is this a pregame deal? We see players all the time. They have headset. They get the mind focus. Is this one? Is this going to be your song this year? Oh, yeah. I, and, and, and the great thing about it is I usually make songs, listen to them 15, 16 times, and just sit them down. But this one, I just can't, mm. can't get enough of it. I like it. All right. Like now, can people find this anywhere? Uh, it'll be on iTunes sometime this week. It's processing right now. But... Uh, we we'll actually have we got a highlight tape video for oh, yeah wow. with all the awesome. team. Yeah, we got Dez throwing up the eggs, Romo, you know, dropping the dime, like I said in the song. <laughs> it's a lot of good things on it, so you're gonna enjoy it. So it'll be available It should be available on iTunes, Amazon and all the sites. Uh, Let us know, and we'll tweet it out yeah. when it's available and, and, and out there. We'll, we'll help you uh, get some downloads on that thing. That's right, man. I appreciate it. Greatly appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. Jeremy Mency, appreciate you spending some time. Have fun at practice today, man. All right, man. You got More coming Thank up you. from Oxnard here on ESPN San Antonio. It's cowboy season. Man, every time you go out there, you feel like someone's going to knock on your door and say, hey, here's a pink step in your playbook to go see the coach and you're out of here. The Blitz 4 to 7, live from Oxnard this week. Presented by AA Best Bell Bots, 1250 ESPN San Antonio. And now on-